Hello fellow Capricorns, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess, here to do your weekly read from the 18th to the 25th of November. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I do note that you are getting more viewing, well you're viewing more videos than you used to, so I love that. I always think, you know, get the Capricorns following, really important. Um, for me, I mean. <laughs> That's just my personal thing. If I could pay you all, I'd come out and pay you all. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to have you on board. Um, I am doing the readings earlier because I'm away for the weekend. So your what's cracking for this weekend would have gone for the three days rather than just one. Um, let's put your card up here. So Capricorn, using the um, Julia Massaglia deck, the After Tarot. This card's come up a bit today. So we have the Nine of Wands here. The Nine of Wands talks about the Wounded Warrior. Talks about putting boundaries up around ourselves. Now the negative connotation is of this, that you've become too overprotective with yourself and it's not serving you. The other message that always comes up for me is it's about putting healthy boundaries down around yourself so people don't come into your personal space. He's standing very close to him here. So this is about understanding you have the right to say to people that doesn't suit me, you know, you need to do this. If we're going to be together, you need to do that. Make sure you squeeze the toothpaste from the bottom of the tube and replace the toilet roll and do you know which way the toilet roll goes. That's what boundaries are. <laughs> I'm only joking, people, seriously. Yes, I have those little, I don't know whether you call them idiosyncrasies, but um, that's only a joke. What I'm talking about here is, you know, don't treat me like a fool. You know, treat me with respect and I will repay you in kind. Often it's because things have happened to us so many times and we've perhaps... Um, allowed it to happen to us which is a bit sad so the first card we have out is the card of transformation i've been feeling this big time this week things have really come up for me this week so i'm feeling this trans transition um we're just going out now out of uh, venus retrograde so it could be why we've been feeling a bit of you know some people have been talking to me about you know tough stomach problems um I get these funny heads where I feel really lightheaded and um, and like vertigo. So we've all been experiencing something in this Venus retrograde, but I know it's getting ready for something new. So definitely a transition time here. Um, and these two cards have come up together a few times today. This is the card of the Hermit. And the Hermit talks about going inside and really having a look at ourselves in order to transition. Um, again, these both came up in the Libra readings and that sort of worries me a little bit because I have both of them in my chart, but then I have a lot of things in my chart. So this definitely talks about, you know, being able to shine light on those things that you need to change and transform. Messages coming in very, very strongly at the moment. Um, if you'd have watched my What's Cracking read already, you would have understood that there is this period of transition for a lot of people at the moment where we are learning something that isn't serving us. We're being presented with some gift from the universe to understand what parts of ourselves and our ego no longer serve us. Um, and this is about letting go of the past and letting go of um, past conditioning, past low social conditioning. This is not hanging on to those things anymore. Now, for a lot of this, is this isn't a conscious thing. It's subconscious. This is why these cards are coming out like this too, because it's deep in our subconscious. It's things we were told when we were a child that we've hung on to, past thoughts and feelings that we need to discard now because we're adults and we're not living in our ego anymore. Now, the Knight of Wands is a knight that comes in very quickly. He is a card of action. He is a card of passion. So something is coming in very, very quickly that is a passionate thing. Um, not sure what it is at the moment. We'll keep looking. Okay, so end of negative thinking here. So this four of pentacles here talks about getting rid of negative thinking. This knight of wands is saying this is coming in very quickly for you. So I will tell you now, Capricorn, you need to be really ready for this. It may not affect some of you as much as other people, but there's some sort of like day of reckoning here. Um, it's like you're now going to be reminded of 
something that you were taught as a child that you are living by that no longer works for you. Now, I can't explain that to everybody, but I know a lot of you fully on the page with me with this because you write to me and tell me and I read for some of you. There are things that we are taught in childhood that no longer serve us, you know, and they're about personal value. They're about how much worth we have here. And you can see that in this card because the death is here in this card. So this is about not valuing who you are. You're hanging on to it. You don't need to hang on to it. So the universe is bringing in some sort of gift here because this is the end of negative thinking. It's the end of the swords. It's the end of that road. And you're able to let it go. So, yep, here we are with the hanged man. So this is about looking at yourself from a completely different perspective here. This is understanding your value. Understanding your value. Understanding how other people see you here. Um, and then we have this beautiful emperor. So the universe wants to bring you in someone. They want to bring you in someone who is suited to you. This is the emperor. This could be where you end up after this enlightenment. You could end up being the emperor. So for some of you, it's about bringing someone new in. And for others of you, it's about bringing you to this pinnacle of a success. By letting go of what doesn't serve you any longer. Okay, and then we have the Page of Wands coming in here now. The Page of Wands talks about a messenger. And that's what I said to you. Somebody's bringing this in. I'm about to find out. Okay, because it is about happiness and joy. So it's about moving you to a new stage of life here. This death card, this transition card, this hermit, the death in the Four of Pentacles, death of old ways of thinking, death of not seeing yourself for truly who you are, hanging on to past thoughts and feelings that someone else has installed in your brain, opening up your mind to new possibilities and bringing in abundance here. This is really incredible. Okay, last card. And we have the fighting of demons. So this is not the end of it. It's just part of what is supposed to unfold for you going forward. Okay. Seven minutes, Yvonne. That's barely half of a reading. So... I'm going to recap and I'm going to put a couple more cards on here. See if I can give you a bit more information. So what this is about is changing the way you see yourself. It's changing your old patterns of thinking here. Now the cards that are not here that I would have thought we would have seen in this reading, but obviously Spirit has given me the ability to see through the cards I have to deliver these messages. This is about moving yourself into the space of the emperor and having sunshine and happiness and beautiful life going forward because this is about enlightenment. But this is about yourself. It's not being enlightened about other things. This is about understanding who you are, not having these things from your childhood holding you back. This is about being able to release and move forward here. The thing is, I still see you fighting your demons here. So it's like you're given this gift of this sunshine and happiness, but you're still not really able to. You have to process it. This is why you're going into hangman mode here, um, because there is something that you need to process here. Somebody's coming in to deliver a message, and I feel like, so we have the Knight of Swords, Three of Cups, Six of Wands. Somebody's coming in to give you this gift, but what I've got to say to you, it could be someone that's going to be very, very harsh with you. It's almost like they're coming in to give you something because they need to. The universe has sent them in because they need to show you something about yourself that you weren't able to see. Because we have the six of wands at the end here. So this may not be love. This could be like a family member saying something to you that cuts to the core. It could be a friend or an ex-friend or whatever. They may not stay a friend after that. Who knows? But it's going to put you in this space where you're going to have to go and do some self-reflection here. Because it's something that's going to come in. It's going to hurt, but it's pushing you forward to abundance. Oh, and love. Okay, I'm glad I turned the last one over. I was like, please don't leave me on this one. So they're trying to bring in love for you. But in order to have love, Capricorn, 
You have to go deep inside yourself to make to find out what it is about you that makes you feel unlovable. What is it about you that you doubt that you should have someone in your life that can offer you true happiness? Could be why this emperor is here. But you've got abundance coming in here. You just have to learn what is it that you need to learn about yourself that you can let go now. What is in your thinking that no longer serves who you are? That's better. I like that we ended up with that one, though. There's a choice there. There's a choice there, but I'm not going to pull any more cards out on that. There could be a choice of two people here. There could be a choice on whether you move forward with the person who delivers this message to you or gives you this gift from the universe or whether you wait for this emperor or whether it is your emperor. But there is a choice. So here we go. This is my card, I'm telling you. Patience, slow down, change your attitude and clear your mind. Thanks, to the universe. I know I'm not the most patient person on the planet and I know it's my journey to learn that. I'm sure there are other Capricorns out there who know exactly the same thing. Thanks, Capricorn. Have a great week.